It was uh, now almost 20 years ago when Dr. Dean Ornish decided to put all his energies into doing the Lifestyle Heart Trial. Prior to this study about 20 years ago, the conventional view in healthcare, in medicine, was that you could not reverse heart disease. In fact, I remember being in a class at Loma Linda University. How long ago was that? 1985. Sitting in a class with my favorite professor, and uh, along with about 80 other uh, students in this class, and and this, and we were talking about heart disease. And somebody made the point that there was a conventional belief that once you've had a heart attack, you, you're going to end up having another heart attack if you live long enough. And when I heard that, I, that didn't sit well with me at all. I was just a first-year student in my doctoral program. And I was maybe a little brash. I raised my hand. I said, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that's true. And I said, it's, it's just, it just goes to reason that if you address the issues that cause the problem, that you would be able to prevent that second heart attack. And my uh, seasoned professor smiled. You know, whenever you have a teaching moment, teachers love that. Professor, like, oh, this is good. I'm going to use this one. And so, so he started talking about it. And, and so he asked a question to the class. He says, how many of you actually agree with Wes? Yeah, nobody raised their head. <laughs> but my buddy Steve sitting next to me, Steve Taylor, who had worked uh, on... Um, uh, with and the Defense Department on uh, top secret projects and decided to change his career and go into lifestyle medicine. I don't think he agreed with me either, but he just decided as a stand of solidarity to go with Wes, his buddy. So he raised his hand and looked straight at the professor. And so uh, the professor uh, smiled again. He says, well, two of you agree with that, but you're kind of, you know, you're, a lot of people disagree with that, but I remember that very well, and I just, it just did not sit with me. Some, some 15 years later, Dr. Ornish finishes a study showing conclusively that indeed humans can reverse heart disease if they follow a comprehensive lifestyle medicine plan. You see, too often times that we have been focusing, we've been looking for that one silver bullet, that, that one drink of water from the fountain of youth, that if we just did that, we would get healthy. We would be able to address that condition. You see, there is no such thing. If we want to, if we want to have this hope to achieve improvement in our health that's significant enough to possibly reverse any type of chronic condition, we have to be willing to broaden our horizons and not ask the question, what is the one thing that I need to do, but what else can I do in addition to the things that I've already been following to actually get to that tipping point that will allow me to improve my health so much that now my body starts to heal. What is that healing tipping point and it is different for each one of us and so that is the challenge that each of us have as we develop a personalized group of strategies to optimize our health and optimize our brain health